Stormy Cloud 21, and well, tonight, you know what we've got? We've got Star Wars The Mandalorian, the Vintage Collection, R5-D4, Astromech Droid. Look at that. Whoa. And in case there's any doubt, R5-D4, a battered Astromech Droid. R5-D4 has a long operational span, bouncing around various owners on Tatooine for decades. Now he resides in Docking Bay 35 on Mos Eisley Spaceport in Peli Mal Mato's employ. And I've seen Star Wars The Mandalorian now. I've seen the entire thing. I own it <laughs> on disc, so I saw this droid. I can appreciate it, see it in a new light, and I saw it in the original in the uh, A New Hope. So pretty cool. Plus. I have the large uh, in one starfighter, a small one too, but the large one, you can actually pop the head off this and stick it where little Grogu, uh, little capsule is, and remove that and put this head on top. Plus I have the old original version of this, which is slightly different, especially on the back with the paint, the way it's done. I, I can't even get to it right now. so. This is what we're gonna look at tonight. Let's check it out. Let's open it up. R5 D4. While many people had a hard time maybe getting this on Amazon, not me. I just walked right up and found it in a store. All right, let's check it out. R5 D4. Now, one thing I wish, and I can see right off the bat because it's painted, I wish these opened up like RTD2 does. But you can see there is no way that's happening. And the body plan is very similar to R2 when you look at some of this. Look at the wheels on the bottom. Does this come off? Yes, it does. There's only one way it can go back in, but it comes off so you can do this. And then you can uh, put it back in. <laughs> Whoops. I think I made it harder than it was. Okay, so you look on the back here. What I'm saying is new is these three red colored stripes. I'm sure there's more differences. Wish I had the old one out to be able to show it but it is tucked away right now. But this is cool and this is like rubbery. There's not a lot to show you, but this does come off. You can see right there, they even bothered to paint that, which is nice. And up in there, uh, what does it say? In? I don't know but that's cool let's get the N1 starfighter out and look at that so I have the N1 starfighter the large one you may have remembered it from a review in the past so here you have Din Djarin, the Mandalorian here's Groku I'm gonna take this off here actually take this whole piece off you can leave grogu on the peg and everything and leave them just like that you don't have to mess with it and you've got this separate other piece for the droid i'm gonna put it in there put it in there like that and then you can stick see that peg right there you can stick your droid On top of that, I'm perfectly accustomed to being on top of the N1 Starfighter with the Mandalorian. Just like in that one episode of the Mandalorian, I now have it, so I've been able to watch it. And uh, it's good stuff. And it's just so, so cool how that turns in there. And it's locked in. It's not coming out. It's 
I mean, you can pull on it, of course, obviously, but it's solid and it turns so awesome. So, so nice. You just take this whole piece out, no problem. Put Grogu back on there with Dinjar, and there you go. Then, of course, when you're done, you can pop this out of here. Trust me. There you go. And this piece, keep it around. It'll be useful. I put it in a clear uh, casing to protect it. I don't know why you need to protect that. With other small item accessories. Um, this goes back on there. Very nice, huh? Very nice indeed. In case you're worried about it or and or non-confident. This is what I'm talking about. Where you can... There's Grogu and that piece. And this is a separate piece. Totally separate piece. You can swap your droid. The droid does not come with the N1 Starfighter. It is sold separately. Remember that. You know, speaking of the N1 Starfighter, here's the Micro Galaxy Squadron version. I think it would be so cool if they could design a way to pop this off and then put R5-D4 on top of it in miniature. You know, maybe a second reproduction so you can do that because you ain't doing it with this one unless you break the thing. Um, you can see here, here's the big one. And here's the little tiny N1 Starfighter. Basically, there's not much more to this item. But it was in A New Hope and it's in The Mandalorian. And uh, R5-D4 is a very special uh, droid. Remember, Uncle Owen was going to buy this one, and then I think it had a bad motivator, if I'm not wrong. Oh, yeah, there's some articulation right here, by the way. Of course, this is that. You could actually pop, pop these off if you want. They're designed to come off. You just got to not be afraid. Not all droids do that, so don't do that on every one of your droids, but that I know of. Anyway, that's about it. So this is Stormy Cloud 21. Thank you for watching this review. Please remember to hit that like, subscribe button, see more cool stuff coming up soon, as well as that notification bell. And thanks for watching and talk soon.